it was hot August and the temperature must have reached 110 in that front yard. There were about two dozen children there, none of whom I particularly liked and none of whom was having a particularly good time. We just sat there sad with their children on a patch of brown burned up grass. My mother had, as always, planned every moment of the day with military precision. Two o'clock, three-legged races. 2.15, passing oranges under our chins. At three o'clock, the entertainment arrived. A clown, Mr. Giggles. Mr. Giggles was extremely old. It is true that all adults seem old to small children, but Mr. Giggles would have seemed very old to very old people. He was old. His skin was the texture and non-color of white raisins. In any event, Mr. Giggles made flowers spring from umbrellas and foam balls appear from behind our ears. He was manically cheerful, despite the fact that none of us joined in or laughed or moved. Mr. Giggles thought some singing might rouse us from our collective coma. He sang a hundred bottles of beer on the wall. Only we were 10. So he sang a hundred bottles of milk on the wall. Not very imaginative was Mr. Giggles. He sang loudly and with what should have been infectious joy, a hundred bottles of milk on the wall, a hundred bottles of milk. And we tried, we did at first. All of us, I think, joined in. Mr. Giggles ran around in a desperate frenzy wild for us to perform but it was so hot we made it through 90 bottles of milk on the wall and 80 bottles of milk and then i could take it no more i just stopped i lay down put my head on the earth and shut my eyes well mr giggles ran over and knelt down and sang right at me loud shouting more than singing really screaming right at me 82 bottles of milk on the wall 82 bottles of milk i refused to stir i just opened my eyes and stared at this fascist clown then another little boy stopped tommy leonardo i think he let his head fall forward and fell silent Giggles leapt upon him and shrieked with rage, 81 bottles of milk on the wall, 81 bottles of milk. Then very quickly, other children followed suit, like spontaneous suicides. Their voices fell silent. By now, Mr. Giggles was in the throes of a demented fit, running crazily from child to child, screaming, spit flying out of him, sweat spraying off of him. But he would not give up. By now, no one was singing, except for my sister, who would participate in, the, in this deranged duet at any cost. I watched as Giggles flapped his arms like spastic birds and lost the count completely. 42 bottles of milk on the wall, 48 bottles of milk. And then he fell over in a sad, wet, broken pencil heap. The silence was palpable. My sister, abandoned, looked at me. He's dead, I whispered. Bernadette shrieked and ran in horror from the yard and into the street, where a bread truck swerved to avoid her and ran headlong into a mammoth oak tree, shaking from its perch our cat, which fell to an ugly, bloody death impaled by the trunk's antenna and splattered on the windshield.